So right when you log in, WordPress will take you to your dashboard screen, which we're looking at now. And we can close some of the little notifications. So right now, our site's like, if you look at the homepage of our site and you're logged in, to do that, you just click on the button on the upper left that has the home icon. So if you do that, you'll see your site as you see it when you're logged in and working on it. This is like the content you publish goes here. But because we just installed a fresh copy of WordPress, we can go back to the dashboard and click there. Our site's actually showing a coming soon page, which is different. So this is how everyone who's not logged in, aka all your readers, will see it right now. All right, if you like this screen, go ahead and keep it while you work on your site. So what I like doing is just removing the page right away. So we can do that by doing the click here button. All right, now once you do that, everyone will see the site like this. And your site is wearing the WordPress 2017 theme by the WordPress team. It's good. It's got a nice picture of a cactus, um, you know, and uh, it's pretty trendy. It's a good site, but we don't want our site to just be good. We want it to be great and stand out because why not? And hundreds of thousands of people also use this theme. We want to be unique. So let's change our theme. To do that, we can go to the dashboard. Just click in the upper left up here. And now we can click on Appearance. And we're in the Themes Library. So you can see the themes that your WordPress site came with right here. One, two, three. And you can add new theme. All right, and I wanna search, although you might be enticed by these free themes from WordPress, like popular, latest, favorite, so on. I wanna do a search for one called Ocean WP because this is one of the hottest, uh, you know, most loved themes of the moment. And I wanna show you how to use it. So to use it, you can just click the blue install button. And then you have to make sure to click activate. And just with the click of a couple buttons, now when we visit our site again, we've totally changed it and it's wearing a new theme. We just have to put in some content now. But there's a way to save ourselves time so we don't have to upload content just like a traditional web designer would. And you can still DIY. So I wanna show you that way to save time. Let's go back to the dashboard again. And you can see how this little dashboard icon appears once we're on the site, because we're gonna to click to the dashboard and then it becomes a home icon because then we click to home. Anyways, a little cute feature. So to save some time, I wanna show you how to install a plugin and that plugin is recommended by the theme. All we need to do is where this little notification says this theme recommends the following plugins, we can just click begin installing plugins. Super easy. All right, and then we can click install under Elementor. This is free. All right, return to required plugins installer. And then we can install Ocean Extra as well. Just make our theme a little more powerful. Great job. Now if you click on your plugins tab, and scroll down, we can see Elementor that we just got. And we also have a bunch of other plugins that our WordPress uh, site came with. It's a good idea to clean up this list to make our site run even faster make it even more lightweight. And so let's do that together right now. So first off, I wanna close the notifications at the top. All right, we're gonna close this one for WP Forms, close this one for OptiMonster, and close this one for Jetpack. Jetpack is if you want to use some of the features from WordPress.com, maybe you migrated, then it's a really good idea. All right, those are great plugins. We just don't need them at the moment. And you can always install plugins again, um, especially if they're free. There's no harm in deleting them or getting them later on. So let's activate Akismet. If it's got the light blue background, then it means it's activated. And then we can actually get rid of Google Analytics right here, just deactivate it. and delete, okay. All right, so your site should have at least four plugins up, Akismet, Elementor, Hello Dolly, and Ocean Extra, and now we can proceed. Before we proceed, why don't we change our password though in case you get logged out randomly. To do so, click on your Users tab, and then just click on yourself. Now scroll down, and where it says Generate Password, click it, and just pop in a new password. All right, obviously make it stronger than this and confirm it and update it.
Great job, let's click the button in the upper left to see if our site has looked any different now, and it still looks the same. Because we are really just doing housekeeping changes in the back end. To set up a couple new pages on your site, let's click on your pages tab. And now we can just click add new. And the first page you always make should be just the home page. And then we'll actually make the edits within this page. All right, so once you set the name of this page, just publish it for now. Now we'll click add new at the top one more time. And we're gonna make a page called blog. All right, and this page will hold all of your blog posts in a nice stylish, um, hopefully cool looking list of blog posts. So we'll publish that. All right, now let's click on your settings tab and let's tell those pages where to go. So if you click on settings, then you click on reading. Now we can decide what our home page displays, which is really important in WordPress. We want to click a static page, and then for home page, we want to actually just put our home page there. It might seem redundant, but that makes sure that WordPress shows the actual home page we create and not just this default content on the home page. And of course, for post page, just select blog and make sure to save changes. Now, when we refresh our site, we'll see some real changes. We just got rid of that default content. Great job. We can click Edit Page, and now we can set up the look of our new homepage using Elementor. So let's do it. Let's click Edit with Elementor. And now let's click Add Template, which we love. We're going to be super lazy here so we can have more time writing content and creating content and, you know, making a living with our site. And we're going to grab one of the homepage templates here that Elementor has kindly made for us. All right, so up to you, but I really like study right now. I'm kind of obsessed with it. I love all the image overlays and the way the lines are offset, super clean lines. And I think stylistically, it could really fit a lot of different sites and different niches that you might have. So for all intents and purposes, let's try study. Just click on it and then we can check it out real briefly. All right, very nice very pretty and we can just click insert now we can just update it all right and now we need to click the pancakes and go back to the dashboard because we want to make a couple changes to the home page as it sits right here and under template let's click elementor canvas let's see what happens then let's update it refresh it up beautiful all right now it's really working so now the page got rid of all those other default WordPress features, and now you just show everyone this beautiful template. Great job. If it seems like it was too easy, it's because it was. And in fact, you deserve it because you already went through all the hard steps of setting up our address, our piece of land, our home, and all that. And now you should be having fun as your own DIY web designer.